Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, which is a game I have not played too much on the channel, admittedly, except for the odd live stream here and there. But it's a game where you can build your own warships and pit them in battle. Uh, they are adding a career mode, which I definitely plan to cover in the future, but I was really waiting for the game to mature a little bit before covering. However, with this mission, where you can build and fight ironclads, I decided to go ahead and showcase it because it's pretty pretty darn cool. I have built a variation of the USS Monitor here, it's slightly different than the real life Monitor, and there is a slightly different variation of the CSS Virginia over there, also commonly known as the Merrimack. Let's go ahead and change course slightly. Instead of the 11 inch gun armament of the real USS Monitor, I have 12 inch guns equipped on this vessel and uh, it's slightly larger than the, her real life counterpart. We have a top speed of 6.5 knots there and we have quite a bit of armor. I did uh, <laughs> add a, quite a bit of armor to our ironclad. The Battle of Hampton Roads, which was the first time ironclad saw combat. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Okay, so one of my towers has already been destroyed. That's a pretty rough hit from uh, the Virginia on us. Well, hopefully we can get a pretty critical hit on the Virginia over there with our 12-inch guns. But anyway, as I was saying, the Hampton Roads was the first battle between ironclads. And they really just sat there and shot at each other for an excruciating amount of time uh, before both of them ended up just kind of disengaging, thinking the other had retreated. Okay, and we started a fire on the CSS Virginia over there. Uh, the names are randomly generated in the game, so... Well, I'm just going to refer to it as the Virginia, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change course and make sure our gun can traverse. Our gun cannot fire directly forward because of this observation post. So we just want to stay off angled a little bit so I can continue to fire. The CSS Virginia was uh, another ironclad, but it had all casemate guns here, as you can see, whereas the Monitor had a transversible turret, which was state of the art at the time. And in this battle was the first time uh, a ship with this kind of turret uh, saw a battle as well, so let's continue to try to turn. I want to be sure my guns can fire. Have about a still have a little while to reload. These 12 inch guns take quite a long time to actually reload here. We've inflicted, it looks like, 2% structural damage on her, and uh, yeah, the Virginia has gotten fairly good hits on our vessel. But a lot of these glancing blows are not going to do much, so we're in a fairly good spot. There we go. Holy cow! Okay. <laughs> I was I was not expecting that. What did we hit? Oh, she's sinking. Well, there we go. That's the uh, that's the Virginia going down. Mission complete. Well, that was a short video. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and try it as the Virginia, and I'll go ahead and try to build this bad boy. So, CSS Virginia was the first ironclad of the Confederate Army and represented the bases for similar casemate ironclads that were widely used in the American Civil War. Having its armament fixed in gun ports instead of an armored turret, like the Monitor, casemate loaded is considered the intermediate stage between traditional broadside frigates and the modern warships. Can design a similar ship and fight, uh, fight versus two Monitor-class ironclads that are consider considerably smaller but armed with heavier gun turrets. Yeah, we can, we don't want two ironclads. We'll make it pretty hunky. Let's go for a 4,900 ton vessel. Speed will stick at eight knots, but we will probably end up reducing speed here. And bulkheads, we want at least many. Uh, bulkheads are nice to have. Let's go ahead and add some towers to the vessel. Uh, secondary tower in the rear. There we go, perfect. The CSS Virginia actually had a ram at the bow here, so I might try to use that and see if we can puncture a hole into the monitor. Let's go ahead and do our guns. So we can put 10 inch guns in the bow and stern. We'll go ahead and put those in there. And uh, nine inch guns, oh, casemate guns. So we'll have eight inch guns all around, I think. 
hopefully the ship doesn't get too heavy. There we go. Four weight offset. We'll put our funnels in the aft to kind of kind of try to offset that there and we'll move this back. I wonder why it, it seems no matter what I do that I have my bow off weight is offset. I think it might be because of the ram <laughs> which I really have no control over. Okay our funnels we'll put one funnel here and we really need two funnels uh, to get the best performance out of our engine. Even that is not enough. Three funnels would probably be better but we will we will roll with two. Oh, maybe I'll try three. We'll see. We're underweight here. Let's see what we can add. So standard shells, standard ammo. Yeah, we're not going to need that much ammo. Uh, we can do enhanced gun reloading. I'm not sure that brings us overweight. So we'll do standard here. Belt is eight inches. Deck is 2.2 inches. Let's see what we can increase that to. Okay, 2.5, and then we go overweight. Uh, let's reduce our conning tower a little bit. Add some more deck armor just in case. I think this will be okay. And belt extended, I'm not too worried about. Four inches. Let's see if we can add just more to our, our belt. Okay, four white offset. It's really getting offset now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. I was decreasing it like an idiot. Okay, seven point. 8 inches belt, that's what we were at, there we go, 8.5 inches. I think this will be okay, uh, obviously we don't have a turret, but if I decrease it, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it does! We don't even have a turret, so let's go ahead and reduce that and turret top, who cares? Uh, we pretty much have all secondaries. So 5 inches there, let's increase this to 9, and um, hmm. Conning tower, who cares? There we go. That should, that's fine right there, I think. We can also, speed is also pretty good. So let's bring speed down to seven knots so we can increase our armor a little bit. Uh, let's try to get three inches. I like round numbers. Uh, 1.5 for the deck extended and 7.5 for the conning tower. Yeah, that seems good. That's a pretty pretty heavily armored vessel. We want to avoid uh, exploding like the Virginia that we just went up against in the monitor. Uh, I have a feeling this will be, yeah. Okay, we'll try this. I have a I have a fairly good feeling about it. Let's let's get in there. Okay, so we will be fighting two ironclads. Apparently, we're the Spanish Empire. Obviously, the CSA is not involved. It's interesting, we start rather far away, uh, but with the monitor mission, you start right next to them. In that case, let's hold our fire. There's no use in wasting ammo. And we'll turn towards the vessels. I am keen to try to ram the monitor. <laughs> One of them. Looks like they're already opening fire. We can go ahead and use some time compression here as we try to close this gap. Let's continue to turn. Okay. Oh, they're, they hit them. I, don't, I can't argue with results. I was kind of annoyed. It looks like this uh, vessel has the Seattle. That's interesting. Uh, it looks like it has 11-inch guns. Let's see, they're still identifying the second ironclad back there. So we are definitely outmatched in terms of gun size. However, we have quantity on our side, so that's quite nice. And us giving them a four-wheel broadside is pretty good. If only my gunners get hit. Let's reduce speed to our optimum firing speed, which seems to be six knots. Let's continue to close. Our turning radius is rather poor, just like it was in real life. But overall, this is a pretty nifty little mission. I would love to see like a small campaign added to this game where you can uh, make riverboats and gunboats and ironclads during the American Civil War. I think that'd be quite interesting. Oh wow, we got a pretty good hit right there. <laughs> we actually hit 
this ironclad exactly where the we were hit last time. Looks like we took off that rear observation post back there. Okay, we're getting shot at by the second one. Uh, my intention is to ram the second one here, if we can even turn. We have the turning radius of a freight train, so <laughs> might be a bit difficult to actually get into position for a ram. I do want to close the gap, though, so we can actually get really good hits with our weapons. This is a game I really do plan to cover on the channel uh, quite extensively, but I have been waiting for a real campaign mode. There's mostly just like little single missions like this right now. And I've been, oh wow, first shot on the Arkansas. Oh wow, another good hit, perfect. But uh, yeah, just let me know if you like this. There's also another game called Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, which I do want to play as well. And I've been thinking about how I would go about adding that onto the channel. But hopefully you guys enjoy this as it is something a little bit different. Maybe uh, I'll play another single mission where you can build a, <laughs> build a dreadnought. Like the game, like the name says. Anyway, we're just exchanging fire here. I have them on save, so they should only be taking shots if they really think they're going to hit them. Which is what is making this extremely disappointing that they're doing a rather poor job at hitting them. Let's continue our turn. I gotta say, I thought the monitor fight at the beginning would last a bit longer than it actually did. <laughs> I didn't think I would actually be playing as the CSS Virginia in this episode. But here we are. You guys like longer videos anyway. There we go. A few good hits. Okay. Looks like a ram might be out of the question. Let's try to... keep moving and get all of our guns to fire at her. Oh, that was good. Quite a bit of damage all throughout her. Look at that damage on the hole. She's standing still. We could position ourselves right behind her and this forward gun wouldn't be able to fire. It can't shoot behind because of that turret blocking the way. So here we go. We're gonna cheese it. Kinda. I don't feel too bad doing it. Unfortunately, with this angled, uh, the way the ship's angled, it might be kind of difficult to get really good solid shots. It might just glance off. Have we even, yeah, we've been hit quite a few times. Nothing too critical. I really want to get a ram in. I think this might be my opportunity. All ahead flank. Let's see if I can intercept her. So we need to remember we have that, uh, I think what, yeah, 10 inch gun in the bow, which will definitely cause quite a bit more damage than our little 8 inchers. Okay. think we are on a fairly good intercept course. Hey, there we go. I think that was might have been our 10 inch gun. No, it wasn't. Disappointing. Yeah, our, uh, it kind of looks like our 10 inch gun would be able to fire, but I suppose not. She's outrunning us. She knew I was going to try to ram. Smart crew, I suppose. I think this mission might end before I'm even able to uh oh we actually might get a good broadside here I think this mission might end before I'm able to finish them off so one of the reasons I don't like these single missions is they give you a time limit it's kind of lame
pretty good hits. It's on fire once again. Have not caused any flooding. That other ironclad's way out there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch him. Oh, is the monitor gonna to try to ram us? Go for it. Oh my gosh, she is. The rammer has become the rammed. Whoa! Gosh, that noise. Well, she's rendered us immobilized, but she is as well. Okay, let's try to turn around. Yeah, we're not moving. Uh, I don't know. Was that a good trade off? That was interesting. I wish I was on the other side of the ram. Be getting propulsion back online. Are both of her turrets down? No, her turrets are still operational. Looks like the fire might be the end of her. Okay, let's switch our focus to the USS Seattle. I think she might go down. This fire keeps raging, she's done for. Okay, switching focus now. Engines are back online. She's still shooting at me though, that's very rude. Her structural integrity is at 68%. Let's go for the ram. We only have 16 minutes to go, so we might as well ram her. Oh my gosh. That's grim. Okay, she's sinking due to structural damage, awesome. Hopefully we can get a lucky hit and really just finish this thing off. Let's try to bring more guns to bear. Two minutes left, yeah, this is... This isn't gonna happen, folks. Unless something crazy happens. Like it explodes. I think we're gonna... I think this isn't gonna go too well for the uh, Virginia here. I have no doubt that eventually we'd be able to whittle her down, but given the time limit, I don't think it's going to happen. And the engine, the da engine damage here we have sustained is not helping at all either. It's causing quite a few issues. I'll go ahead and. Uh, Turn off the time compression. Look at that. That armor is taking quite a few brutal hits there. Not enough, I suppose. Well, we're pretty torn up as well. It's a pretty good looking game. Well, yeah, we're in the final seconds now. Maybe we can get one more salvo off. For fun. There we go. 10 inch gun. Let's go. All right, <laughs> I suppose that's gonna be it. Oh, well, that is going to be it, I suppose. Yeah, mission has failed. Well, that is fine. No, I'm not gonna retry now. I hope you guys enjoyed that fairly different type of video. I just saw those missions and I thought that would be kind of cool. Might as well share it with uh, you guys. So. Uh, that is all for now. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.